next round of coupon getters. Already? Let's get this first. Alright. Not cool. You too. Please wait. I hear your people of leisure who never turn down the request. Uh, yeah, I'm in. <coughs> and that is correct indeed. <clears throat> Actually, a girl in a purple dress asked me to take care of you. A girl in a purple dress. The noir? No. Is she purple? But I was thinking, since you accept any and all requests, you must be very capable. So I never need to take care of you. Indeed, it will be more accurate to say that you too can take care of me. Sure, but no discounts. I know the rules, don't worry. Regardless of the outcome, I will compensate you according to market rates. The more is useless here, so I'll pay with coupons. I'll be compensated no matter what happens, really? Absolutely and totally correct. <clears throat> Our task is just that difficult, you see. It's that not Nizami's fault for being great with his fists, but for using them where they shouldn't have been used. You mean the band creation ring? I'll be staying here for a while longer, so I need a place to pursue my studies. It's best if it has a bookshelf, a table, chairs, and a board to write on and stick materials to. Okay, so from what I can infer from that is that uh, Nazami actually uh, was in a um, training days and he wanted to uh, see where his potential could lead us. And apparently, destroy several things in the process. I'm sure you know exactly what place I'm talking about. It's something not, av not available, and there's no point in asking. But I believe that a room on the opposite side has the same internal structure and should be usable. But it's a really strange place. It seems to be occupied by someone who rarely entertains visitors. Yeah, that place, right. I've never seen the person, nor even seen the doors open. So I appointed Nizamis uh, my, represent my representative. He was always reliable during the time I employed him as a bodyguard. However, he got into a disagreement with the Ottomans, and negotiations break down broke down. Hmm. Maybe communication and negotiations uh, have never been his strong suit. Indeed, it didn't even look like a negotiation. He just hammered on the door with his fist, standing outside and shouting. It was a truly shocking moment for me. Wow. That doesn't sound like a negotiation at all. As such, I'd like to ask you to act as my representative and negotiate with the Archmids to rent out the space he is currently occupying. I expect the price to be a maximum of 54,000 coupons. You may not succeed, and that's fine, but at least give it a try. I'm counting on you. Okay, um, can I talk to him again? If only I hadn't ticked off Caranza earlier. And maybe the negotiations will go more smoothly. <sighs> Alright. Into the wind. Let's see. 
But all into not cool, non centenian seems to seem to be distracted against. Oh. But all the international non-Fontanians seem to be discriminated against. Will he ignore us as well? Is there a better way to go about this? Not. Who is it? Uh... Well, what if, what if I'm being honest? A nameless traveler, an adventurer crossing all the nations of the world. Since when did this place become a scenic attraction? Stop playing around, Limo. Don't forget what we're here for. We're, we were asked to discuss something with you. Well, we were hired to ask about renting this room of yours. Of course, the client will be happy to pay you in coupons. Something similar happened a while ago. That client of yours really refuses to give up, huh? You were sent by that guy, who, with uh, the really funky way of talking, weren't you? Forget it. Out of respect for his perseverance, tell me his offer. Hey, it worked. Yes. It's like we st we've still got some room for communication. Nakul told us about his expectation for the price. If we're making the offer, should we reveal his budget from the get-go? Or should we try getting a bargain? I should say a little on the table. Alright, I'm not selling it like it is. The client's budget is 54,000 coupons. Byron thinks it's a good deal. Only 54,000? That's just 10% higher than when we I had to that psycho hammer on my door. What a miser. Only? I don't think it's a lot. You know nothing. Okay, dude. Uh, haven't you ever heard of Karanza? He's much more generous. He offered... Uh, he offered me... 108,000 coupons. Really? That much? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so he, he, he's definitely lying here. Uh, of course. Do I look like a liar to you? I can't see anything from this side of the door. He didn't sound very confident. Maybe he made it all up to treat us. What's our negotiation plan now? Mostly have only this much, so let's. Uh, so it's his if he wants it. We told the truth from the start. We only have fifty-four thousand. 108,000 is crazy. If you refuse, then uh, our hands are tied. We'll have no choice but to give up. I just have to wait a little longer. Just a little longer, it will rise all the way up. I'll definitely get a higher offer when you return next time. And the time after that. I never misinterpret the trends. It will go up, so I must hold on. I cannot rashly agree. He cannot agree so easily. Is there a reason you're so confident? Experience, of course. Based on my last two experiences, the upward trend will continue if I don't interrupt it. Isn't that obvious? What kind of logic is that? You're a child, so of course you don't understand. Anyway, it isn't the right time yet, so I won't agree. You can go now. Well, it doesn't seem like he'll be changing his mind. Let's head back and pass the news to natural level. Talk to natural.
the batch. So here's what happened. Your natural detail blow by blow count of the negotiations. Oh, I see. Nevertheless, I always keep my word, so here's the compensation we agreed upon earlier. Now, what am I going to do? Alright. Well, uh, how many coupons that, that gives us? 200, 280. Alright. Click. Nelly? Uh, huh? I'm not listening to instructions. Let's have that right now. Alright, uh, Nelly? Tell me all about your problem. Huh? What's a camera doing here? Where there's news, there's cameras. Have you never heard of that before? I think I have. But I just made that up, so where did you hear it? From... No, not from Charlotte. Huh. Where did I hear it? Anyways. Well, there isn't anything new under the sun anyway. No matter what I say or write, it's always but a parody of Elvis. The camera is here, so where's the news? Well, news is like fishing. It requires patience and making the right judgment at the right time. Yeah, true. But that's how you hook really big fish. Oh, I mean, that's how you hook a scoop. Mm hmm? Wait, that doesn't sound right. Ah, forget it. Never mind the news, I like fishing too. Well, miss me with that BS. Um, <clears throat> that sounds a bit amateurish. You're not, gen not a journalist, right? Then you've misjudged me. <laughs> I'm an amateur journalist. Anyway, what's an amateur journalist like yourself doing here? I'm here to complete the project assigned to me. To capture the most vivid moments of the Fortress of Maripede, guards at work with my camera. But I spend too much time completing the required compliance documents. Just take a look and you'll understand. The note take, takes out a stack of documents, all packed with various contractual clauses and signatures. Just looking at them makes you feel dizzy. By the time I completed, I completed all the procedural, procedural <laughs> paperwork, I missed the guards at work during their shifts. Or, in fishing terms, there aren't any fish in the water right now. Too bad. Huh? But there are guards on duty here right now. I don't want to hurt your platinum collection. Oh, so you want to... <laughs> so... So Nelly, I think you want to go for the Platinum Trophy. I don't think an initial configuration or water body cleaner has enough impact. That way, even if I complete my project, other photographers might not think of it worthy of praise. Well, uh, you, can, you keep on waiting then. See ya! You're just leaving? Really? Aren't you going to help me? Well, it's not like we can just magically conjure up the platinum collection you want. You're right, I need to come to terms with my own limited abilities. And stop trying to catch fish that are beyond me. I'm such a useless angler. Oh, wait. I mean, I'm a true journalist. Alright, no more wallowing self-pity. Time to cheer up. If it's alright with you, could you do me a small favor? Please, I'll pay you. Whoa, that was fast. Well, it depends on the favor, so why don't you tell us what it is first? God of Affair, Graville, yes, we know the one. Based on my judgment, his news value among drafts is equivalent to that of a situation controller among maintenance mechs. I should be able to write a good report with him as my subject. Well, I can keep myself from getting criticized at least. 
but she just refuses to come over here. So could you bring him to a suitable spot for me to take a snapshot? Yeah, but I think when I, if I said, can you just take your camera over to him? She's going to say, yeah, but the lighting, the angle, and the background. So yeah, I understand. Why don't you just explain it to him yourself and you take the problem over that way? Knowing that the camera will make him focus on it and stiffen up. That will make the photo too staged. What do you think? It's best if we turn off the loudspeaker, report it to Groundville as a malfunction, and ask him to come have a look. Then he'll definitely be able to capture a vivid moment of the photo's American God work. My project's completion depends on this. I'm counting on you. Please help me. Doesn't sound difficult, Limol. We wish you'd help her out. Now go ahead and turn out the loudspeaker. Where's that loudspeaker? Oh, Time to go. in this one. Talk to the guard. Let's report to Drowville. <laughs> Hi! We found a loudspeaker that seems to be malfunctioning. It's over there. Again? That's strange. I just got lines to repair it. That's like it's not even good, as good as fixing hit things as I am. I mean, all you gotta do is give the machines a couple of good smacks, right? Anyway, thanks. I'll go have a look. Thank you for your help. After that, so tonight, let's wait and see. Wait for the guard to reach the designated spot. Alright, I'll walk with him to your point. And to add this with good measure, I'm going to sip my juice as I do. <laughs> it worked! Nelly. Okay. I finally completed my project. I'm a journalist in my own right now. Thank you. I don't think you, I don't know if journalists journalists speak like that, but anyways. You must have snapped a really it's in the picture. Yeah. Yeah, take a look at this. Oh, yeah, I am um, taking a good look. Um, so that's, that's a great picture. Doesn't have any problems, right? Yeah, it doesn't have any problems. Yeah. Not not blurry at all. Which one, which one shall I choose? Um, try, do I choose the first one, the first dialogue option, or the second? Yeah, this one. Um, Pilot might get dizzy if she looks at it any longer. Will it really be okay to just use this one? What's wrong with it? I think it's a great shot. I think the standards for journalistic artistry is a bit different, but yeah. Uh, I'm sure no one would have expected me to snap a shot like this one. They'll all be so surprised. 
Yeah, definitely. Parliament really doesn't get your status for artistic critique. Oh, it's told symbolic of a symbolic meaning of a substance. I'm sure all its parents photographers will understand once I submit. It. Anyway, thank you. This is for you. <laughs> it would be great if we could share a fishing spot next time. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Try the best to submit a message for it. Uh, all right. There. Yeah, all right. Strange. Caterpillar and the Noir aren't here yet. Why bother drumming when you know you're going to lose? I wouldn't be so certain of that. That's right. You're only ahead of us by a little. A little? <laughs> Can the results be announced now, Estienne? Actually, no. Let's wait a little. After all, the best must be safe for last. It's like we don't have to wait long. Here they come. It's still a mole. It's Paimon. Have you seen the results yet? The win? You don't know yet. Well, seems everyone is here. Would you would you announce the results now, Sien? Of course. Oh, but the results on Caterpillar's end still need to be calculated. My my, what a cruel guard! Toying with, toying with us from start to finish like that. Why don't you ring out the last bit of mercy in your heart and let them know that the gap between us is too wide to cross? Stop torturing us with false hope. These aren't the final results, but... These aren't the final results, but... We should be able to win once we add the true pawns that Ch Chatter got today, right? So, Dirty Face Darcy's team. 1,650. Hold on. Why have Geneviève's team's points been cleared out? Geneviève and Poit's team is zero. I was against it. This is the more logical approach with respect to the, to the results. Race team. 8,250. 8, What's that supposed to mean? Whoa. Race team has so many points? Kids team. He doesn't need the chance to leave. And we don't need to place first. You mean you gave all your coupons to Rave? Isn't that against the rules? There's no rule forbidding it. I was originally in favor of amending the rules for, to ensure fair play, but no one else seemed to be in support of that. Indeed, there isn't a rule forbidding that. This competition would have been far more exciting if everyone could have fully used the rules to their advantage. More exciting for you, maybe. Rules don't mean a thing in a game as boring as this one. At the end of the day, it's a question of holding the one's honor. Alright, now that the scores have been announced, isn't it time for the final results? Our points from today haven't been added yet. <laughs> A drop in the ocean. <laughs> uh, 
am I am I um, hallucinating right now? Because uh, now that everything's been added, here's what the results look like. Two million? No words. No words. Yes. We're still in all this time on Lurch. Lurch, we, we won. What? That's impossible. What did you do? Wow. That many? Pymons lost count. It's a trick even simpler than magic. I used the coupons I, I'd saved up in the past to hire a bunch of people to help me work. What we have won is the product of their work this whole time. And I believe this falls within the rules too. Even if it does, that's an insane amount. I also have my reasons for needing to win. And I've and I even gotten help from my two friends. It would be a real shame if we lost now. So this wasn't about honor. Uh, vanity, perhaps. Since everything has been tallied, it's time to announce the final results. The winners of this game are Caterpillar, Mr. Limul, and Mrs. Paimon. Why, why didn't he see? Why didn't he say Lenoir? There. No objections, I think it. There's nothing I can say. It said that it looks like I picked a fight with the wrong opponent. I ended up in here last time for striking someone in danger. I won't make the same mistake this time. You'll pay the price for the choices you made. Well, I didn't expect to hear someone actually say that. Uh, I guess it's pretty cliche if you ask me. Is everyone ready? If so, let's set off now. Let's do this before Noir gets back. I hope you can understand that his thinking isn't wrong. And that it's just not suited for a place like this. You're ready? Aren't you, Lenoir? Uh-huh. I've already said goodbye to everyone. We are also ready to get going whenever. Alright. Just keep quiet for a while. I've made some arrangements in advance. So we shouldn't run into any problems. You follow Istian out of the fortress of Merapid. Okay, but two million though, two million coupons—that's insane. 